Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw an isosceles triangle given its unequal side A and its opposite angle A. The first step, we are going to draw a horizontal line in the bottom of the screen, as you can see. So the next step, we are going to set a point on the left hand side of the horizontal line, which is going to be the first vertex B of the triangle that we want to draw. The next step, setting the compass to the given length A, we are going to transport this onto the horizontal line from point B, obtaining the second vertex of the triangle, which we will call vertex C, as shown here. We will outline this side A with a thicker pencil, as can be seen. So the next step is to calculate the angle B which is equal to angle C because this is an isosceles triangle. Because of the law which states that the sum of the three angles of any triangle is equal to 180 degrees, we can determine that the angle B is half of the supplementary angle of angle A. Here you can see the supplementary angle of angle A, which is the remaining angle from angle A to 180 degrees. And this remaining angle is equal to angle B plus angle C. Now we are going to work out the angular bisector of this angle to obtain angle B and angle C. To do this, first with the compass centered on vertex A and with any radius, we scribe an arc until it cuts each ray of the given angle as can be seen here. So now with the same radius and centered centering our compass on the previously drawn intersects, we are going to scribe two intersecting arcs. These last two arcs intersect each other at a new point. And now we will join vertex A through the new point to obtain the angular bisector which divides our supplementary angle into two equal angles, which are the same as angle B and C of the isosceles triangle that we want to draw. So now we are going to transport the angle B onto the horizontal line. So to do this, keeping our compass to the same radius as before and setting it on vertex B, we scribe an arc as can be seen here. And where it cuts the horizontal line, we will call this point three. So now setting our compass to the radius one, two, we are going to transport this length to the previously drawn arc, setting our compass on point 3 and scribing an arc to the left until it cuts the previously drawn arc at a new point, which we will call point 4. So now, using a ruler, we join vertex B through point 4 and elongate it as shown here. So the next step is to work out the perpendicular bisector of the line segment BC. To do this, we set the compass slightly longer than half the length of the line segment BC. And setting our compass on vertex B, we will scribe an arc. And again, with the same radius, we set the compass on vertex C. And we will scribe another arc, which intersects the previously drawn arc at two points. So now, we draw a vertical line through these two new intersections and elongate it until it cuts our previously drawn line at our new vertex A. And finally, we will outline with a thicker pencil side C and side B, which are opposite to angle C and angle B respectively, as can be seen here. So here you have an isosceles triangle given its unequal side and its unequal angle. I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.